So me and Bonesy are hopping on the ice and I will be testing this crazy Maxon glove. This is my first time ever seeing this, trying it on, and this is the biggest pocket I've ever seen. You've tried it on before, right? Yeah, that thing's like a vacuum, honestly. Uh, the protection is interesting too, super thin, so I don't know, we'll see how you feel about it. It's very different, so, but yeah, we're gonna hop on the ice, gonna test it out, hopefully catch some pucks, I'm sure, with this pocket, so. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Feels like the glove's gonna like, snap back on me. Pocket's huge pulls in a little bit too. Oh, didn't get that one. It has a weird break, almost like a, you have to bring your thumb to your finger. <laughs> I wanted to windmill that one. Now it works. Oh, I gotta catch those. I'm trying the palm, didn't feel it though. It's a good sign. So pocket heavy, so it's hard to like throw it away. But it's just not. There it is. Got one. Got the finish. That hurt a little bit. It felt a little flimsy too with the glove. Just got off the ice uh, after testing this thing out. I love the pocket. It sucks the pucks in. And, it's like a vacuum, dude. Yeah, but one thing I noticed is that it's pretty flimsy. Yeah, very thin construction, everything like that. Very lightweight, but yeah, like, definitely a lot of kickback when you're catching pucks and everything. And very interesting. Yeah, I definitely like those last shots that I took. Um, you can see, like, when I catch it, the glove kind of does something like this. I don't know if it was, I can strap it harder on or something, but yeah, that's how it was. Like, I, it was easy to catch, but then it did one of these and, like, Felt like the club moved my hand a little bit. So uh, and there's a lot of moving parts. Like this stuff just comes off like this and the strapping is a little different. So uh, we'll take a little bit of time to get used to this one, but it was definitely fun to catch with this and finally try it on. Yeah, huge pocket, super lightweight, very thin. What did you feel about the protection in here? Did you take any to the cuff? I took a couple, not on the cuff. I took a couple on the palm. Uh, I felt them a little bit. I wouldn't say it's more than a normal game ready glove. Yeah. Um, but that was only a couple. So, but this cuff or G or whatever this is, is super thin. It feels like a street hot yeah. cuff almost. So yeah, that definitely interested if we took more here, especially with the kickback and the pocket did, if this did the same thing. Oh right, yeah. So. I don't know. It was just a fun experience to try it on. Thanks, Bonesy, for bringing it. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, kind of a unicorn in the golden world. Mm -hmm. I'm a big glove guy, so I love my big pockets. So this was super cool to test out. The closure is crazy too, like the angle. Yeah, that was the one thing I forgot to mention. It's almost like I talked about it on the ice, but you almost close it with your thumb to your fingers, not that fingers to your. To your thumb. Your thumb. Right. It has a different angle. It's almost, I don't even know like what I would consider it to. It almost kind of gives that 5A feel, but obviously it might just be the huge pocket that it is. Yeah. Glove and extremes. Extremely big pocket. Extreme close angle. Extremely thin. Extremely progressive. Extreme. So, but that was a fun experience. Hope you guys like that. Let me know if you're gonna try this out. I don't even know how to get one of these. Yeah, I think this is technically a prototype, so things are in the works here, but uh, yeah. Maxon. Keep an eye out for Maxon. Yeah.